Hey, I have a game we can play. It's called I'm gonna show you three games and you're gonna spot the differences. And the way we play is, I'm gonna show you three games and you're gonna spot the differences. Okay, I could have used a better name. That, that's a fair criticism. Anyway, our first game is one we're reviewing today. It's My Arctic Farm. Look, look at me dragging food to the animals. Our second game is My Jurassic Farm. Look at me, look at me dragging food to the animals. And finally, we have My Exotic Farm. Look at me, look at me dragging food to the animals. So, did you spot the differences? What's that, you did? Oh, well then you're a goddamn liar, because there's no differences to spot! Freaking liar, it's all the same game! Don't, don't lie. It's my exotic, I mean Jurassic, I mean Arctic farm. So if you're not following, back in May I reviewed a game called My Exotic Farm. It's a cheap little eShop game, definitely needed some work, but for what it was, it was actually a decent game. I had some fun with it. And then earlier this week, I reviewed a game called My Jurassic Farm, and I thought, hey, that, that sounds familiar, only it wasn't familiar. It was completely identical to My Exotic Farm. No changes, no improvements, just dinosaurs. But as a general rule, that's enough for me, so I was fine with it. And that brings us to today's review. My freaking arctic freaking farm. Anyone guess what this one's like? Now, as with each of the prior games, I'm, I'm sort of torn here. Because despite all the problems these games have, not the least of which is that they're the same game, reskinned, I still had some fun with them. And my arctic farm is probably the best of the bunch. Not that it's any different, but if it has the best character design, it generally looks the best too. And again, at their core, there's some fun gameplay here. But I was really hoping my exotic farm would be a starting point from which improvements would be made, stuff would be added. Obviously that, that hasn't been the case, and it's no different with my arctic farm. So you start off with a single penguin. And like the other two games, at first there's not much you can do. These games always start with this awkward lull. You have to just sit there and wait for that one penguin to start laying enough eggs that you can sell them and make some money. And from there, that's when things really pick up. So soon you're getting all kinds of animals, and you're frantically racing to keep them all fed, and clean, and happy. Now, what I like about these games is the gamepad. My Arctic Farm's kind of like a DS game in a way. You play the entire game on the gamepad with the stylus, and the television just sort of acts like the top screen on the DS, giving you a display. And it's an approach that works really well with the Wii U, and I think it shows a lot of potential for bigger simulation games. They're like, like different ones that, that actually change. And that, that's the thing about My Arctic Farm. Plays great, looks better than prior My Farm games, the characters are better designed, but it's still the same game. That means the same problems are present. Most importantly, the lack of customization. You can't name the animals, you can't design your farm, but you can't do anything, really, aside from feeding the animals, scrubbing them, selling their produce. So even though you're constantly leveling up and getting rewards, there's not much there to hold your attention. You just, you just keep doing the same things over and over, so it gets very repetitive. Speaking of leveling up, though, well, that's another thing I like about these games. There are times when, like, you, know, you level up, the game gives you a new objective for doing so, you've already done that objective, and so you immediately level up again. You're jumping up, like, two levels at a time, and that happens all the time. Which I love, it really keeps things moving quickly. And that's the thing, you know, th this game just needs the extras to really fill it out. It has the solid core, but you know, the next one really needs more farms and more options and more stuff, you know? Maybe better music, graphics, either that or just, just do the same thing. You know, either way. Normally, games like this, I'd, I'd bury them. But I can't do that with these, because I sincerely enjoyed them. Again, for what they are, they can be kind of addictive. There's a solid game in there, it's just, just waiting to come out. And again, I said the same thing after My Exotic Farm. And two months later, and two games later, here we are. I'm scrubbing whale poop. How it got on land is the greatest mystery of all. It's My Arctic Farm for the Nintendo Wii U.